this is Gwen from Hairbo Supplies Etc. Today we are going to accessorize a t-shirt with a monogram letter and some ribbon. I'm going to be making this shirt. This is for my daughter's first day of school. So I uh, made her a cute little skirt. And so I thought that we would match it with this shirt. So I bought the shirt at Target and then the monogram letter I got at Hobby Lobby and um, then this is ribbon so you've got a 12 inch piece of ribbon here and this is just for the width of your t-shirt so you may want to um, change this around a little bit depending on the size of your child my child wears a size 6 and uh, so then you have a lo another long piece this is to make your hair bow this is 11 inches you have six and a half inches and then you have three and a half inches you need a needle and thread, scissors, hot glue, lighter, and then I have an iron and a towel for my monogram. Actually, I have two towels, and um, that's it. We're going to add the ribbon to our shirt first. First, you want to make sure that you have a piece of ribbon, and it's the length of the shirt that the child's going to be wearing. You want to seal the edges and then I'm going to, you, there's a couple options. You can either use fabric glue to glue this on, but I'm just gonna sew mine on with this sewing machine. So you want to, like this is the top of the shirt. So I am going to make it kind of mid, like right underneath the arms. I'm gonna make it around the middle. So I'm gonna be sewing on the sides on this part. So let's go ahead and do that. First I have my monogram and I've just placed it right on the t-shirt. I'm not going to iron it on yet. I'm just trying to figure out where I would like to put everything. So I believe that I'm going to want my ribbon right underneath the arms. What I'm going to do is just get out some pins and just pin on the ribbon on your shirt. You're going to have to go underneath and just pin that on so that way when you go to sew it won't move now we're ready to go to the sewing machine Next, I'm going to add the monogram part of the t-shirt. So I'm just going to place my monogram over the t-shirt and make sure it's centered. I'm doing this now because I'd rather iron this first than have to put the bow on and worry about the iron getting in the way of the bow. So just make sure that your monogram is centered. Then get a second towel and place it over the monogram. Mine is an iron on monogram and my instruction said to uh, put a second towel over the monogram and let it sit for 20 to 25 seconds. So we'll go ahead and do that now. And then you just need to let it sit and cool for about 25 seconds and if it comes up at all go and repeat the process again okay we so we have three more pieces of ribbon to use left this last piece of this next largest piece of ribbon that we're going to use is going to make our hair bow this is the uh, six and a half inch piece go ahead and get your lighter and seal the edges then we're just going to make a basic uh, tuxedo bow so fold your ribbon into two thirds like this make sure that your pieces overlap just slightly make sure it's centered 
You can find the center by folding it in half if you need to. I'm going to uh, bunch the edge, make an accordion style fold, and then bunch the edge again like this. Make sure it's centered. Take your thread and wrap it around a couple times. And then you can tie it in the back. And then this is going to be um, on top of this. So just take your bow and get another piece of thread. Get another piece of thread and just wrap around your center. And then just bring it to the back and you can tie it again. Take these edges and I'm going to fold them in half and cut them on a slight angle and then just seal your edges okay lastly on this bow I have this other piece and what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold it down on the red part and this is going to be my center increase it okay then what I'm going to do for this part is instead of sewing this together I'm just going to hot glue it to the back and then we are going to sew this whole thing onto our t-shirt so we're just going to hot glue this part but now that I have my creases Okay, I'm going to take my needle and thread and put it through the bottom part of this. And just bring it through the loop. We're going to sew this onto the back of the bow. Okay, and then just wrap this on around and over. I overshot it. Alright, 
bring this up and around and under and then just sew the rest of the back onto the back of the bow. Okay, now we are going to sew our bow onto our shirt. All right, so take your needle and thread, put it through the bow again. Loop it through the back. Okay, and then we are going to find our center of our bow where we would like to put it on our shirt. And we're gonna sew this onto the shirt. So just take the inside of your shirt like this, find the center, and then just poke your needle right through the middle of the t-shirt. and just sew a few times. Through the t-shirt and through the bow at the same time. and then just secure that off when you're ready. Okay, so the bow now we have is on, but I want to make sure that this part doesn't turn. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to sew a little spot right here on the inside and on this side so the bow doesn't turn on me. So uh, once again, I have another needle and thread. I'm going to just take my bow here and make sure it's nice and centered and just poke a needle right through that back part right there. Bring it through the back. Back up the front. And then uh, bring it through that loop and then just secure it off. You don't really need to sew a whole lot, just a little bit of that needle just to make sure that it uh, just doesn't rotate. And just cut. Okay, we're gonna do the same thing for the other side. Okay, that's it. That's how you embellish a cute white t-shirt with a monogram and ribbon. So thank you so much for joining us and please be sure to subscribe to our channel. Have a great day. Mm -hmm.